Hey, it's been a while since I did one of these. So, Pal World is out, and despite its silly name, it is racking up the players. Starfield fans are crying out here because their maximum player count is less than fucking Pal World. But what can we say? Pokemon fucking slaps and it sells despite how bad the last entry was. I was going to make an entire video about why Scarlet and Violet are messed up and their DLC was not worth it, but eh, We'll just wrap that into this video, why not? So if you've been living under a proverbial rock, let me give you the low down here. Scarlet and Violet was a broken, buggy mess of a product at launch. It was passable, playable, but very ugly. No option to turn battle animations off, making the game super slow, removal of features, even after the DLC. It's It, it was bad, all right? But people still bought it. En masse. En masse. En masse. En masse. I don't know how you pronounce it. Just cut this part out. People bought a lot of fucking copies. This continues the trend of Game Freak and the Pokemon Company releasing half-assed garbage at full price, and then it sells super well, so they're like, well, uh, people clearly like our garbage. Let's keep half-assing it, removing features, making things not even remotely up to quality standards, and people will still buy it, and we can just fuck off and buy our 19th yacht. If you couldn't guess by the title of this video, they have competition now, even if it is a very, very silly entry. Pokemon has been running absolutely unopposed, so they have been able to get away with literally anything that they want. If they don't want to put any sort of quality or even use quality control in their games, they're just running with that. But now they have competition, which is the best thing for this trend in not giving a shit about making quality games anymore. What do you mean anymore? <laughs> no, check it. I love Pokemon. I have been shiny hunting for the last like year and I can't get enough of it. So when I love something, I will talk shit on it because I want that thing to grow, improve and get better over time not f***ing worse. Because Pokemon no longer has the monopoly on creature catching games. Hey, get those, get those examples off of my screen. I didn't ask for those. The loss of their monopoly means they're going to actually have to try, even if it's just a little bit. Granted, they might not. They might look at this and be like, nah, whatever, we'll continue just doing what we've been doing. And even if they do, it might still be a good thing because the knockoffs like Pal World will get better and better over time. More players will deviate towards that, especially because it's on multiple systems and not just a single system, underpowered switch, until eventually they might start seeing a decline in their profits. And then they'll be like, whoa, where did all our players go? Do we actually have to start trying again? So this can only make Pokemon better over time. But, but, but what do you mean by better? Did you play the fucking DLC for Scarlet and Violet? Did you see what the end result was? Oh good, you can invite friends to hang out for five minutes. Wow, cool. Where's the battle frontier? Do I just keep doing terror raids like I've been doing? Removal of features. Why are people not mad about this? If I went into Mario 64 and removed two entire levels and then re-released it full price, would you be happy about it? Well, I mean, yeah, most fucking fanboys are super proud to pay for whatever Nintendo farts out. I am a fan of products and not companies. If a product is good, I am willing to invest time and effort into it, which is why I've been shiny hunting on older games. In future installments, I am less willing to invest if that product does not add new elements, improve existing elements, or preserve elements that the past products made fun or interesting. So fuck yeah, pal world. I hope that game goes on to sell so many more copies, and I hope that Pokemon people are sweating in their boots right now. At the end of the day, I don't want them to be gone. I want them to be better. And you should too. I could make a whole video about how they shiny locked all of the legendaries, so there's not even any point in catching them if you have in the past. Ah, for another time, another time. I'll just end by saying, would you pay $35 for DLC that feels like it was just regular content that was already in the main game that they cut out so they could resell it to you later? No, you wouldn't do that shit. You're not fucking stupid. But apparently I am because I fucking bought it.